Well, here's a little something you might find hard to digest. What if you got swallowed by a whale? The human brain is an intriguing thing. You may be lying in your bed, ready for sleep, when all of a sudden, dozens of what-ifs start to pop up in your head. And one day, a terrifying thing may occur to you. Your taxes are due. No, no, no. No, what if you went swimming and a whale swallowed you? Well then, it's not your day, is it? Let's figure out the possibility of such a misfortune together. But first, hit subscribe and ring the notification bell to join us on the bright side. Okay, first of all, let's see if there's a real chance of a whale swallowing you. Naturally, many whales are huge. For example, the blue whale is the largest animal that lives on our planet. In a vertical position, its height can be compared with that of a 10-story building. The average length of a blue whale is from 80 to 100 feet. And that's the length of one Boeing 737, three school buses, or six elephants. Now, the longest whale that has ever been seen measured a whopping 108 feet long. The heart of a blue whale is as big as a car, and you can hear its beat even if you're two miles away. The tongue of this animal alone weighs as much as an adult elephant. As for the body of the blue whale, the biggest of them may weigh up to 441,000 pounds. And that's 25 times as heavy as an infamous T-Rex. As you can see, theoretically, an adult blue whale could accommodate not only you, but also your friends and family members. As in several hundreds of your friends and family members. At least, all of you would fit in a whale's mouth. But the question remains if this whale could swallow you. The answer is no. Despite being so tremendously huge, the blue whales feed on some of the tiniest marine life form called krill. Just one adult whale can eat 8,000 pounds of these shrimp-like animals a day. It's about 40 million tiny creatures. With their mouths, blue whales have an amazing row of plates with bristles. This helps the animals to filter plankton from the water. With the help of its bristles, a blue whale captures its prey. Then it pushes the water out of its mouth and licks the bristles with its large, fleshy tongue. But due to such a diet, the esophagus, also known as the food pipe of the blue whale, is incredibly thin for such a massive animal, just several inches across. Even if you stretched it to the limit, its diameter wouldn't go beyond 10 inches. Surely, this wouldn't be enough for you to squeeze through. Thus, if you ended up in a blue whale's mouth, the animal wouldn't be able to swallow you. Most likely, it would just spit you back out. And you could consider yourself lucky if this happened at a shallow depth. Untrained people can't dive deeper than 130 feet. But although blue whales typically swim at a depth of 45 feet, when they hunt, they can get as deep as 330 feet under the surface of the water. Imagine being spat out that deep down. Hold your breath. On the other hand, you would have a slim chance to survive. Unlike fish, whales can't get oxygen from water with the help of gills, since they don't have any. That's why they need to rise to the surface every now and then to breathe. They inhale fresh air through the blowhole, situated on the top of their heads. As soon as the whale gets to the surface, it breathes out the old air. That's when you see the so-called fountain or spout. Unlike what many people believe, this is air, not water. After that, a whale takes a deep breath of new air and dives back into the ocean. Probably you would get lucky and manage to escape in the process. In any case, it's obvious that the blue whale wouldn't be able to swallow you. This leaves us with toothed whales. Oh boy! This type of whale, which includes dolphins, orcas, porpoises, and others, makes up about 90% of cetaceans. And the largest representative of this group is the sperm whale. These creatures have the biggest brains on Earth, which however does nothing for their intelligence. And while your brain weighs approximately 3 pounds, the brain of a sperm whale can be as heavy as 17 pounds. Although the sperm whale isn't as big as the blue whale, its size is still impressive. Males can reach a length of 60 feet, and females can grow about 40 feet long. 
these animals have huge heads with powerful jaws. So, hypothetically, a sperm whale could swallow you whole. Instead of plates and bristles, typically for blue whales, sperm whales have 20 to 26 pairs of cone-shaped teeth. Each tooth is 4 to 8 inches long. The biggest ones can weigh up to 2.2 pounds. So, if you face the possibility of being swallowed by a sperm whale, its teeth would be the first danger you'd have to avoid. While we chew on that one for a moment, let's imagine that you passed this obstacle without any particular problems and ended up in the whale's mouth. Sperm whales can open their mouths really wide. But even the largest representatives of this species have a relatively narrow throat opening. That's why if a sperm whale swallowed you, you would hardly fit in its esophagus. Thus, this would leave you with little space for maneuvers. You would probably try to escape, only to discover that both of your arms are flattened against your body. Even if they were stretched over your head, you wouldn't be able to bend them at the elbows. In the whale's throat, there are no surfaces which you could easily grab onto. Trying to crawl out of a whale's esophagus could be compared with attempting to get out of a tight, wet, and slimy sleeping bag made of foam rubber. You would probably be able to slow down your descent if you had long nails which you could use as claws. Otherwise, you'd be moving further along the whale's food pipe. You should also remember that sperm whales, as well as dolphins and orcas, tend to swallow their prey head first. This is a matter of survival. If these animals consumed fish tails first, sharp fins would poke and damage their throat. It means that if you were swallowed, you would find yourself head first in a narrow, dark pipe. This would make it even harder for you to move back out. It's not looking good for you, is it? But hey, let's not forget that the muscles of the whale's food pipe constantly constrict. This pressure wouldn't be enough to crush you, but you would most likely have some pretty unpleasant moments. Anyway, after some wiggling and squeezing, you would eventually get into the stomach of the whale. Yay, more wiggle room! Well, sorry to dampen excitement, but that's where things would get hairy. Digestive enzymes, including hydrochloric acid, are incredibly concentrated in the stomach of the whale. That's why, if this gastric juice got on the human skin, this would cause severe chemical burns and a person wouldn't survive the shock. But don't forget that even if you somehow managed to stay alive after these burns, you would still be in a stomach chamber. In total, whales have four of them. Unfortunately, getting into a stomach chamber wouldn't mean safety. Quite the contrary, it would become the end of the journey for you, as the whale is having you for dinner. There's nothing but methane gas in these chambers, and you would have no air to breathe. Game over, as they say. The circle of life. Well, as you see, one way or another, you wouldn't get away unscathed. Luckily, there is no credible evidence that a whale has ever swallowed anybody. For centuries, there have been different stories about people who ended up inside these giant animals. According to some of them, these unfortunate individuals even managed to escape from their live jails. But eventually, each of these tales turned out to be a fake. A whale can accidentally hurt or injure you if you swim up too close to the animal. That's why the only recommendation is to stay out of the way of these giant creatures and leave them alone. Huh, what would you do if a whale swallowed you? I know what I'd do. Pretend to be a clown. Yep, the whale would spit me out. Because, as we all know, clowns taste funny. So, write about your escape ideas in the comment section below. Remember to hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel to stay with us on the Bright Side of Life.